afternoon guys, how are you doing? So today guys I've come to Chester uh, for the first time in uh, two years after the Covid lockdown in 2020. So if you want to check out the video of uh, 2020 and uh, see how it was then, I'll put the video of that at the end of this video. So right at the moment guys, I've come to Graveson Park, hope I said that correctly. Uh, it's an absolutely fantastic uh, park to bring your family and I'm at this point where you get quite a good view of the the river and you can see like uh, kayaks, you can see river cruises going along the river so to show you where I am right now so this is where I come from guys so you've got the park right up that way which you must come and check out and this is the view right here you know it's quite a decent view here and look at that guys all the greenway and this is one of the three things you can get to do when you come to Chester so I thought I'll come and show you this and then uh, I'll be showing you more of this uh, city later on but as you can see guys it's a very popular place and uh, here we are beautiful day in Chester as you can see well, you guys, we're going to go for a walk now on uh, Watergate Street and uh, you've got a, like a, a restaurant or bar on your right hand side here. You've got a Falafel Express on the right hand side here too. You've got a bar and restaurant called The Guard on the left hand side here, which you can see, but not yet open at the moment. So when you come to Chester, on the street here you'll find quite a few coffee shops restaurants uh, there's one or two cocktail bars along here and uh, for those that live in Chester you've got the army way you can join if you want to so this will take you right into the center of uh, Chester where you'll see the golden clock and a few of the market stalls that will say you like uh, British flags, um, Liverpool things for the football club and uh, all that stuff there. So you've got Rowley's Fudge on your left hand side here as you can see. Uh, you've got a coffee shop on the left hand side here. Quite interesting uh, decoration as you can see. And uh, you've got quite a few like <clears throat> antique shops on there too. So if you're into IT stuff, you've got antique stuff on on there. Uh, you've got Katie's Tea Rooms on on there too. And uh, the architect in Chester is really amazing guys. You know, if you've never been to Chester before, then I suggest you come. I came here two years ago and I had a great time then. So you've got a, the Vin Santa on your right hand side there. You've got chalk coffee on the left there, which seems to be very busy at the moment. Uh, you've got the Watergate bar there, as you can see too. Uh, so you can sit out here if you want to, or it's sit inside. And uh, they've got a rooftop garden too, which is good. And further up the top here, you've got a few retail restaurant um, shops, shall I say. And if you want to know more areas where you can eat or drink at, then uh, this street on the corner here will lead you to some places where you can eat at. Uh, we'll go down there in a minute to show you the golden clock. Uh, but down here guys, you've got quite a few places where you can eat at So there's no shortage of where to pick up food or drink uh, You've got a jeweler shop uh, You've got Leonardi's chocolate cafe there You've got a travel shop uh, You've got a palm bakery if you're on a budget So they sell everything, everything more or less a quid 
Uh, you've got the York Roast, where you can drink and eat at. Uh, you've got the Breach Street cafe, uh, Coffee here too, with the gazebo out. It's a nice day for it. Uh, you've got rainbow tea rooms on your right hand side there, so that could be a good spot if you like uh, tea and coffee. You've got the Café Rouge on the left hand side there too. So I can't tell if that's open or closed. You've got a there, you've got a pizza place here where you can drink and eat at. You've got a place where you can get crepes and stuff. So you'll see that it's very busy today. And uh, further the bot bottom here, there's more restaurants and places where you can eat at. You've got the Bridge Cafe Bistro on your left hand side here. Uh, you've got the, the Burger Shed. So you've got those two places there where you can eat at. Uh, there's a UE agents shop there if you want to get any energy drinks or use paper or whatever you want there. So that pretty much covers this street here. You've got a cocktail bar on that side there, you've got the Slug and Lace, Five Guys. And if you guys are a fan of Nando's, then there's a Nando's restaurant down here too. And uh, last not but least, you've got the cafe, Nero Cafe on this side here. And uh, this is Bridge Street by the way guys. Just in case you want to know because sometimes I get criticised for not naming the streets that I'm walking on, so I'm now telling you what street I'm walking on now. And you've got the Dino restaurant on this side here too, which is not yet open, but there you go. So I'm now going to take it back up that way and uh, walk towards the, the Golden Clock. All the sights and sounds. Just so I'll let you take in all the sights and sounds before I walk down this uh, street on this side in a minute. And now we're walking towards um, Eastgate Street here. So you always find uh, buskers on this corner here, always guys. If you come to Chester, particularly on the weekend, you will find buskers along here that will perform music there. And if you ever come to Chester and you want to find places, then you've got sandwich right there as you can see. And up that way is uh, Eastgate Road if you want to go that way. And now we're going to walk towards the main uh, road going into Chester to show you the most uh, famous golden clock. You know, this street is always packed when you come to Chester. But when you come to this city, you know, it's a very happy place. People are friendly here, vibrant, amazing architects. And you're very close to Wales as well. So if you're thinking of going to Wales, then maybe Chester could be a good spot to stay for the night before you head into Wales. That's what it's good for. Uh, so on this street going into the main area of Chester, you've got the Cafe Nero. So you'll see quite a few of them when you come to Chester. Uh, you've got the Belly Italian restaurant on your left hand side here too. So you can sit outside here. So I was just talking about market uh, market stalls and stuff where they sell you British flags. So this is what I'm talking about guys. So you will find a number of these stalls when you come to the city. Again you will find more buskers 
all I need to. Uh, so if you ladies are into shopping, then you've got the shopping centre inside that building there if you want to go shopping. And uh, you've got the, the hotel here too. So you find all your retail shops on this side here. Uh, then you've got SNS Milton next to the hotel there, which is a jewelry shop. And right in front, you've got the famous golden clock right here. So that is one of the famous things you come to Chester for. Uh, so you can go on the city walls, get a good view from the top there. Like those people are looking down. Uh, so that's where you will go to go to the top there to reach the view from the top where the golden clock is. And up in front, you've got another market stall selling you all British fags. So you might be seeing quite a few people buying them because uh, with the state funeral being on Monday, uh, you'll see these kind of flags here on sale. along this street here this is Ford Somme Street along there guys if you just want to know where that is uh, so as every town in the city has you've got a Mark Suspensers you've got a River Island you've got a Boots Pharmacy up in front too you've got a Wilco So these are your transport links here if you want to get a bus here, obviously. So this is the Park of Mide, rail link and stuff there, for that bus stop there. Uh, there's a McDonald's in the far corner if you're eating McDonald's. So I've just been to the King Charles I Tower, it was open for the first time in four years. I went inside and I'll show you a picture of uh, the guard wearing a uniform and uh, he will tell me a bit of history about King Charles I and two of the guards next to King Charles I were defending him. And they uh, were telling me that one of them had the, the heads blown off. So then King Charles I ran to the cathedral. Uh, so that was quite an interesting uh, lesson. And uh, he also let me hold the, the weapon too, which were, to be honest, they were quite heavy, to be honest, they were really heavy. So I had a few selfies of him. So I'm now walking on the city walls here. And as you can see, it's open all the way around. And if you've got the stairs here. And you get a view on this side here. And there's a good view there as well. So a good place to take a picture there if you want to. So when you're walking on the city walls, um, eventually you will reach the golden clock here 
and uh, there's quite a cool little place here where you can get like, ice cream, you can buy the, even the Chester beer which they made but they only make a batch of them so I don't know about the prices but this is the place here and uh, that is where you'll get your ice cream and all your drinks and stuff uh, there's a table here too where you can sit down and relax and then you've got the famous gun clock up ahead and as expected this is one of the most famous places where everyone takes a selfie here so it's a bit of a selfie station you may say I very welcome and uh, when you get to the middle here of this bridge here uh, you get a good view as well of the city so you've got a view of this idea which is a pretty decent view so you can see everything from the top from this view here as you can see and if you want to view the other side then you've got this view as well guys and there you go so that is one of the you could call the selfie station when you come to Chester the the famous golden clock and you just got to watch yourself when you walk on these stairs obviously but yeah worth checking out guys if you come to Chester so you've got the shop arms on your right hand side uh, you've got the cozy club which is another place you can eat and uh, dine at and uh, <clears throat> you come in um, these uh, scooters as well if you come to Chester which are pretty good but I'm not too sure on uh, how much they are but they're usually in this area as you can see here so you can run on the name if you want to to get around uh, you've got the coach house in if you want to go for a few drinks in there and they might do food as well and uh, they've got the farmers market in Chester today which is pretty good and they're closed off the road as well by the way it is uh, nearly five past four so it's the back end of the day here at this market so I started to pack things away but they were selling various things uh, And during this Memorial Weekend you can go to the Town Hall where you can uh, sign and uh, give memory to the, the Queen if you were here this weekend. Um, you've got more arts and crafts along this side here. Uh, you've got a few Greek and Turkish delights along there too. And as always, you'll get buskers along here. You've got the Dublin packet along here. And two years ago on the on this side here, there used to be a fish and chip restaurant there, which no longer exists now. So sad to see that no longer there. So just goes to show that things don't last forever. Um, by the way, if you want a good place to get tea, then I had a make to go to this place here. I'll show you a picture of the one I got, but they've got loads of teas. So you go in there, order your tea, and you wait about five minutes, telling your name, and then they'll call you out once it's done. So that's pretty good. And the tea was nice, highly recommended. So down along this side here, along this uh, cobble sheet here, you've got the as always, a Starbucks cafe, you've got a mountain warehouse along here. A uh, Zava shop there too. Got Doc, Doc Martens. So it's, you know, a few retail shops, places to get drinks and stuff. And if you keep walking down here, you'll end up in the main area of Chester. And you've got the Shrub Modern Cafe Culture up there too. And uh, here we are, so I just want to show you the area. And uh, if we go down there, that heads towards the, the Golden Clock.
After showing you guys the city centre of uh, Chester, I went for a really nice uh, meal at the Burger Shed where I had a uh, Shed Stat Burger, I had some barbecue and maple chicken wings, and I had two cans of Heineken, and the subtotal for that came to 33 cent five. Uh, unfortunately, I could not uh, fill it inside the restaurant because. As a lot of restaurants these days, they were playing copyright music. But the food in there was absolutely amazing, guys. Highly recommended. So if you're into your burgers, then this is the place to come to. Definitely. There you go, guys. That is my wrap of uh, Chester City. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. There's been a few changes in Chester. So we've noticed that the, the work around the walls is now... Uh, finished after two years and uh, we noticed that the fish and chip restaurant which I ate at two years ago no longer exists uh, but Chester was a lot busier than it was two years ago so it's now getting busy and if you guys are wanting to book tours go to the tourist office in Chester and you're able to choose your tour packages so Hope you guys have enjoyed this video and if you're looking to book hotels and you want to know where the train station is then if I flip the screen here straight down here is where the train station is and some of the hotels up that way so I just want to say thanks a lot for watching stay safe stay healthy god bless and hope to see you guys in the next one